To select quality fish, we're going to move through this at a pretty good rate, but one of those is a pond quality and one is a high quality. Can you tell which is the pond quality? On the left. Yeah. On the left. yeah. But they're both kuhaku. A kuhaku is an all-white fish with a red pattern. But see, this is all broken up and everything and it's not very clear. This fish here is real nice. It's real sharp on the back and, and nice clean pattern. Actually one, two, three with a little cute little button nose. Uh, this one is just all broken up. And then the darker the color is better yes, too? Yeah, nicer, the darker, more intense the color. Uh, Showa, this, technically these are both Showas. All white fish, red markings with black kind of bands going across and black in the fins. But look at how look at how beautiful and this is a shiny scale ginrin, but nice and shiny, nice pattern, pretty fish. This guy looks like it's a shotgun pattern. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, again, uh, you know, both same type of fish, just pond quality versus the higher. Uh, Tancho, all white fish with a red circle on his head. This is a nice. The white is so white on this one. Beautiful fish. The circle is. It's a nice size, but it's, it, it, the more round it gets, the more valuable the fish gets. This was like a $600 fish. If this was a perfect tennis ball on here, he'd probably be $1,600. Wow. It's a big difference in, but look at how deep the red is on this. But a tancho is all white fish, red circle on the head. Now, it's just luck of the draw that they turn out this way. You breed two tanchos doesn't mean you're going to get tanchos. This is just a kuhaku. It just happened to be that the red only showed up on the head. But you, you can't, yeah? Well, that one would that one be considered a tancho because it's not all white? Well, this, a tancho, now the tancho sanki is all white fish with, with red on the head with maybe some black kind of spots on it. That would be a tancho sanki. If he oh. had black bars going across, it's a tancho showa. Oh, okay. But this is pond quality here. This is, I mean, you say, is this a tancho? Well, eh, technically, you know, he's, oh. he's got red on his head, but he's got red on the tail. If this fish had, this $600 fish, if he had one red scale showed up anywhere, he goes down to about 150 to 200 So, the but, fins, is, does that make a difference? Well, yeah, this is kind of a semi-long fin koi here. Um, yeah, it's just kind of, this is the pond quality. In the pond quality fish, you get kind of all kinds of things you don't need. Like it, this is a standard. At the dog show, this would be a prized Doberman pincher. <laughs> this would be a guy who's running the streets. You know, that's, that's kind of a, and yet, you, you go to the pound and you can find some really yeah. cute puppies at the pound. But you take them to the dog show and they're going to go, what did you get that? <laughs> What's your, what do you, you want to enter him? You need an eye to be holding. Yes, and that's it. And, and you know, when I talk about compound quality fish, I've seen some very pretty ones that the, and the customers loved them. And I would never say, you know, a poo poo on your fish. But I'm just saying people say, yeah, so people say, I, I want to, you know, I want to buy some nice fish. What do I look for? I said, well, you want to buy a tancho? Buy this one, not that one. This is what you look for. And the problem is, is there are some dealers who would sell you this fish and say, yeah, that's a tancho. And that's. Well, you wouldn't go online and say, okay, I want the one on the right. And then you end up getting one on the left, though, right? You better not. I mean, if you go online and you order something, you download that picture and you say that picture. I had one guy who had this really unusual long fin fish. It was all black with these beautiful yellow markings in it. And it was like $800. And so he bought it online. He gets it back. This fish comes back. He's all black with one little yellow speck in the back. But the whole pattern was missing. And he calls him up and he says, just a second. This is not the same fish. And he goes, well, yeah, it is. And he goes, the yellow's all gone. He said, well, that picture was taken almost nine months ago. And he said, well, you should have said something. And he goes, well, you know, if you want, we'll give you half your money back and this and that. It was, you know, know who you're buying your fish. If you go online, just get somebody reputable. Uh, Toro from, from Japan Kai online, I think he's very good. Some of these guys, I don't know. Um, Samki, all white fish, red markings with black kind of stepping stones. And this, technically, they both fit the... the, the the, 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 the definition, but much nicer fish. But now let's take a, let's break this fish down and look at it. What makes it so special? Okay. First off, he's got a clean head. Real now, some fish they'll they'll have kind of a yellow head. Males will tend to have yellow heads more than females. But on a younger fish, you can have some yellow, and as they grow up, as the skin gets thicker, sometimes it will get lighter, sometimes it won't. But this fish has got a real nice yellow head. 
I love that little red mark going over the eye. Some people say, oh, that's kind of unconventional. I think it gives a personality. That's why I bought this fish. I thought it was cool. Um, the sharp kiwa. Kiwa is the, the definition between the colors. See how the red looks like it's just painted on and the white? And that's called, that, that's real, so, so the separation of the colors is very important. But now what you also need to realize, it's not just separation of color. On the front of the fish, excuse me, the back of the fish, these are scales that are laying over the white. That should be very sharp. On the front, the, the scales, like for instance, this is laying on top. These scales here are underneath the white. Mm. So when you look for good quality, you want to look at the back. And all the scales that are laying on the back of the, going toward the back, that should be sharp there. It should be sharp here. Mm. On the front, it should be sharp there. But on the front here, and even up here, if it was a little blurry, this was actually pretty sharp there. But if that's still blurry, that just means the fish hasn't matured yet. That color is going to continue to come up. And when this fish is at its prime, that will be sharp there as it is here. Mm. Now also, deep sumi. Black is the last color to come up. So you take this fish, you say, well, look, that's kind of gray. That's okay, because the gray is still coming up. Mm. This